All right, we're back with the series. Let me give it a little bit more light there. There we go. Uh, now, how to build your food truck. We're on the electrical part and we're installing the generator plug. And somebody asked me a question, so I'm gonna answer them. I thank you all for that. Follow me on YouTube. If you guys uh, don't know who I am, my name is Frank Baltieres. And currently I'm building a seven by 16 enclosed trailer, making it a food truck trailer, a concession trailer as they call it. Then we're going to sell it so i'm taking you step by step on how to do it because i believe everyone has the ability to be able to build something like this themselves if they so choose and put a little bit of effort and a little bit of work into it and right now we're in the electrical part one of the most uh, critical parts it seems because everybody asks me this question is how do we figure what kind of generator to use how much wattage how many amps uh, how do you figure the conductor size and then obviously here being the generator plug so we're going to cover those subjects here as uh, we're talking, we're gonna install this generator plug right here. We're just gonna skin this wire back. I've been doing electrical work since I was 16 years old. Seems like a long time. Right now I am 35. I believe I'm 35 years old. So all my uh, high school summers were spent working in an electrical field and Maybe that's why uh, figuring out like amperages and, and wattages and what's needed, it's kind of like second nature, but let me try to break it down easy for you guys. So uh, when you guys are trying to figure out what kind of generator to use, what kind of wire to use, how, how big of a generator to buy, uh, that way maybe this answers your question here. So with that, let's continue skidding this back. We're gonna install this generator plug, boom, right there. So follow along and then we're gonna jump into some mathematics and that way we're gonna break it down for you guys. So Frank Voltaire's the DIY series, how to build your food truck on the electrical generator plug. So here's a generator plug that we purchased. It's uh, the brand is Reliance. I, I want to be able to link, I'm going to do it pretty soon here, where I link every product that I use uh, to the comments, or sorry, to the description. That way you guys get an easy, like this is what I use, and uh, hopefully you guys can buy it. So this is the Reliance, it's a 50 amp plug right there. And so how I wired it is I brought the, we call it an SO cord, and the conductor size right here is, uh, the conductor size is number eight and that's going to give us the ability to be able to use 50 amps on here uh, so this is a quick explanation on how to use it so inside here you can use this as a 240 or as a 120 240 i don't use anything in my food truck that's 240 that's uh, that's like the bigger equipment so on here you have an x a y a g stands for the ground or the green and then you have another one that's a w and it stands for white which is your neutral so to get 120 is very important to keep in mind when you get 120 either pick one of there's not a right or wrong either pick x or pick y and what's going to happen is when you get this plug that goes on the other end one's a female one's a male this is a female this is a male this is going to go right inside and then you're going to stab it in there and then you're going to twist it and this, I'm gonna show you the plug that I have for my generator. This is gonna have another wire that goes to your generator and it's gonna connect over there. And then when you don't use it, you untwist it. And that's how it's when you're not in use. On this one, you're gonna do the same thing. Make sure you match them together. If you use X on here, use X on here. You're gonna use, where's it at? X, W, green. If you use Y on here, make sure you use Y on here because then you're not going to have any electricity and uh, just just make sure that you keep that detail in mind but let's with that let's go and see my generator that I have and hopefully it'll help you now that you see something that is used daily and weekly and uh, I'll show you guys how I run my food truck but just make sure that you use the same color X the same letter X or Y pick one G and W and then it has the screws on the side right here so you just use a flathead screwdriver and tighten it up Cool. If you have any questions, let me know. But let's let's jump and see. Let's go see what type of generator you should buy and how big. Let's so here we go. So this is how 
This is a cable that I literally use every single time the generator runs. This goes to the plug that I showed you guys. This is the male end. And then this part right here, that goes to the generator plug. I'm gonna show you guys how it connects on the other side. Let's walk around to the generator on the other side and I'll show you guys how that one connects in. Let's go. Okay, so when I did my math, this is uh, this was a plenty of amperage or wattage for my use. This is 4,500 watts and that's when they call it uh, cold cranking. And then running watts is 4,200. So how you figure that out is you take 4,200 divided by 120 and that gives you your amperage. And how you take your amperage, you take your total amperage of your trailer or your food truck, it doesn't matter, it's all the same, is you take your units that you have inside. If you have a prep table, it usually has a placard on there It says eight amps, seven amps, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. When you buy your hood, it should be uh, whatever the hood manufacturer tells you. On mine, it's three. So there's not a lot of electrical items in my food truck. I only have my steam table, my prep table, um, what do I have? My lights, very very small consumption of electricity. And I have my, um, gosh, my hood. That's only three amps, so it's not a lot. My propane water heater. Obviously, I just said what it's run with is propane. My water heater is run with propane. So this is plenty for me. It runs 30 amps. Um, <laughs> the other day I saw somebody that had a $4,000 generator. Crazy number. Um, that's just, that's, this is a thousand dollars. This is about a thousand twelve hundred bucks, a thousand two hundred dollars. That's plenty for me. Four thousand dollar generator. Hey, more power to you if that's what you need. Um, but what you do is you take your plug. There's a 30 amp plug. So this is plenty for what I need. As like I told you guys, I did a 50 amp on the other trailer just so I could be safe for whoever purchases it. They don't have an excuse to be like, I don't have enough amperage because 50 amps is a lot. And you just literally plug this in right there and then this male side goes to the other side and then I love this generator because you just literally flick it to run there it is and this is the workhorse of the food truck this runs everything this runs literally man I don't know you need both you need your propane and you need your electrical I can't say I can live with one or the other but uh, just make sure that you get the right amperage. Divide what the what the generator is, uh, 4,200, which is mine, divided by 120 is gonna give you your full amps that it can that it can run. So hopefully that explains a little bit of how the food truck electricity works. This, you have to make it yourself. They don't make these, so you have to make this yourself. You buy the plug, you buy this, and then you make this cable, literally, handmade cable. So that's why it's so important for you guys to learn um, guys and gals to learn how to do these DIY projects at home. So with that, Frank Volunteers with the DIY series, how to build your food truck. And we're getting into the nitty gritty now. We're gonna install the hood. We're gonna get into the sinks, the plumbing, the gas. Woo, so much fun. So let's go.